With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over a point and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler point action menu. Locate the stitch action. With the stitch action selected, you'll have one target, then a series of modifiers down below. The stitch action will allow you to come through and click one point on your model and have it stitched to another point on your model. These modifiers here will determine how the stitching will be applied. So to start off, let's select to end point. Returning to our model and hovering over a point, you'll see you'll get the dialog to click first point. So I'm going to do that. And then hovering over a second point, you'll get the dialog of click second point. Now with the to end point modifier selected, ZBrush is going to take that first point and stitch it to the second point, like so. So you can come through your model and click first point and click second point and stitch areas like this. Undoing that and then hovering back over a point and pressing spacebar. You have a few other modifiers, so we have two midpoint. Now the two midpoint modifier, if we turn our model now and click first point and click second point, is going to take the two points and then stitch them to the midpoint of their locations. Undoing that and then selecting the option of to start point, we'll do the reverse of two endpoints. So if I click the first point here and then click the second point, you'll notice that the second point has been stitched to the location of the first point. So using these modifiers with the point stitch action, you can come through and start modifying your geometry or start collapsing edges where needed. Yeah.